Thursday, the Chargers did fire Mike McCoy. The Niners fired Chip Kelly and Trent Baalke out the door as well. And Gary Kubiak stepping down for health concerns. Sean Payton may or may not be back. Who the hell knows? Well, we, uh, the give me a coach that has not yet been fired that's getting fired today, boom. Today, they refer to today as Black Monday in the NFL. Now, a lot of those announcements came over the weekend. How about the fact that... Well, I know Marvin Lewis and... Is he um, safe? He's safe. And I, and I, you know, all, that's they're amazing. Not fired, they're not firing him. No, that's fine. It's, all, it's up to him whether he wants to resign or not. They've actually had an unprecedented uh, level of success under him over the last six years. I'll tell so. you one thing, though. You, there are times when you see guys get fired, and based on when they get fired, it tells you... What the owner, how the owner feels about that. If them. it's immediate or before the end of the season, if it's you, over. If you fire a guy before the final game of the season, you're doing it to embarrass him. You mean like what they did to Rex Ryan? They embarrassed Rex Ryan. Well, Rex Ryan became the Mariah Carey of NFL coaches. It was such a dysfunctional disaster up there. Do you realize he had 27 assistants on that freaking staff? No, I didn't know that. But I, I mean, know that going into week 15, they were alive for the playoffs. And as much as I... And had and, they beaten the Dolphins, they had a chance to make the playoffs. And as much as I actually personally like Rex Ryan, yeah. I think that he's a, a very big-hearted and good person. Yeah. Uh, the, the stories that are coming out of Buffalo and the fact that they allowed him to hire his brother... Right. Where, ...when no other franchise would allow him to do that... Right. Uh, just basically tells you how quickly things deteriorate. I would bring him Buffalo. back here today if I could. No, it's, I would. Dude, it's not happening. I know right. it's not going to happen. But no, I would, I'm just Rex to, Ryan, I would, and I would apologize to him for for firing him in the first I place. I don't think you understand just how dysfunctional things can get. Hey, this is Rex Ryan. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome, kid. All good. <laughs> He's got I, a lot of buddies on that staff. You know, a lot of a lot of uh, 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 all the reports coming out of there is that you know these guys did not spend their time. Uh, right, uh, there's a lot of screwing around going on, a, right. lot, a lot of screw-ups on the field. I mean, you're playing against the Miami Dolphins first and foremost. It's it's fourth and one, and it's like four minutes to go in, in overtime. You're on your own 41-yard line, and you punt to the other team when your defense can't stop them. That in itself doesn't make any sense. And then your defense goes out there and only has 10 men on the field, right. and Jay Ajayi runs down the left sideline for 60 yards. Well. Wow. I mean, that was part and parcel of the problem. You know, the fact that they won 8-8 eight and eight and were as competitive as they were with all the dysfunction around the team, I think was more of a testament to the players that they had on the team.